Hello, my name is Mark and welcome to Biodiversity Shorts. Now this week is moth week, so I thought I'd play along. I've got here a sheet and a fluoro lamp and I've got some macro gear as well. And there's loads and loads of moths here on this sheet they've been collecting here for about three hours. So let's get in there and take a closer look. Currently I live in the cloud forests of Ecuador and here we have a huge variety of moths that will visit any light that we leave on in our gardens during the night. The moths here have a huge range of colours and shapes and sizes and this is driven by mainly for one, one reason which is camouflage. Camouflage allows them to blend in with their surroundings during the day and this stops them getting eaten too easily by birds and other predators. Looking closer we can see that the textures and colours on a moth come from tiny tiny scales which cover its wings and body. Another way that moths protect themselves is to be poisonous or taste really bad. They also display bright contrasting colours so that birds quickly learn that these moths are not good to eat. A third protection strategy is mimicry. This moth has evolved to look like a wasp. It even moves like a wasp to complete the illusion. Camouflage and mimicry aside, some moths just seem to be showing off. It's not just moths that come and visit. Catiids, beetles, even this assassin bug are drawn to the bright light. I'm not sure if it's a moth, but whatever it is, it's got parasites. These are the nymphs of a tick or a blood-sucking mite. Back to the moths. Now let's have an even closer look. Scales, a nectar sucking proboscis, and compound eyes are features of moths, along with the feather like antenna. Thank you for watching my video. If you've enjoyed this, then I'll leave some links to some of my previous videos here and you can click on those. If, the, if those don't work for you for any reason, you can always just search for biodiversity shorts and then hash and then the number of the video that you would like to watch. Now, all about Moth Week. Moth Week is all about citizen science, okay? And if you want to contribute, you can turn up to any event and you can organize your own event easily as well. I'll put a link to the relevant website where you can go and find out more about it. But basically, it means getting together during this week with a bunch of like-minded people and just taking a bunch of photos of moths and then you submit them to various um, organizations that help to identify these moths. And other people can do scientific studies on these species of moths rather than going out in a traditional way and collecting a whole lot of specimens and all that sort of thing. So if that sort of thing interests you, links are down the bottom here. I'll put those there. So thanks again, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.